Anyways. I have a hat that says daddy on it because it's funny. <laughs> but yeah. Normally I love Moxie, but I don't know. Today I'm not feeling it. Dude, same. Same. Today I have not been feeling myself. Anyways. <laughs> Is it because I'm running stall? It's probably because I'm running stall. I'm trying to build the most annoying stall team possible for this format. And I feel like Eternatus will do it. Uh, but here's the issue. If we run Eternatus Palkia... Um, the, the issue is that we have two dragons and a steel type would probably be better. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking into like getting rid of Palkia and getting like, is there like a steel type trick room Pokemon? Steel. Trick room. We do have a few. We have quite a few. Hmm. We can go Dialga, but that's another dragon. Maybe Necrozma Duskmane could be fun because then we have an offensive option. I think we will go NDM. We'll try NDM. Um, I'm gonna go weakness policy, swords dance. And imagine we trade prism armor onto the Chansey to decrease damage. Perfect. Trick room, uh, sunsteel strike, and max quake, obviously, so we're gonna want earthquake. So I'm getting a snapchat. All right, not earthquake, or not earth power, earthquake. And we can just build with that. Because now we still have, like, the, you know, the trick room stuff. Hey, I love your videos. Remember you saying that you had done some physics research and I understood it both in physics terms and Pokemon terms. Anyways, you're awesome. Hope you have a great day. Hey, thank you. I'm really tired today. I just got back from the gym. So, I'm, like, extremely tired. I'm also, I'm a huge caloric deficit. So, and I'm finally feeling it. Today's, like, day five of serious dieting. Uh, to get back to where I was when I was, like, in incredible shape. So... I'm like really feeling it today. Anyways, uh, zero speed is probably fine. So what I want to do is build like just a super bulky team, but we definitely need an offensive option. Um, the Chansey, by the way, we're just going to go over this. What's your workout set? Uh, today I did uh, back and shoulders and cardio. I do cardio every day. I do 25 minutes of running at like five miles an hour, followed by walking for the remainder of the hour whatever's left so if i do like 30 minute run i have 30 minutes of walking at a 12 incline uh, at three miles per hour that's my cardio that i do after i work out but today was uh overhead press um what was it it was overhead press rows lateral raises um not pull-ups but like lat pull down and uh deadlifts and that's what i did so yeah uh, let me see. So, basically, what I did with this is I decided that running Chansey with Skill Swap over, like, some other final move is not only uh, optimal, but it's very funny, which increases how optimal it is. That's that's how it works. Um, so, basically, the whole deal is if we run Skill Swap on Chansey, we're able to steal pressure from, like, our own Eternatus or Prankster from our Lyapard. Uh, or, you know, I guess Prism Armor if you really want that. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be like for Stealing Pressure or Prankster. Obviously, we can't Skill Swap Wonder Guard. That'd be a little bit broken. But yeah. Um, I'm thinking, like, the team will function fine enough. As long as I, like, just get the Eternatus set correct. I'm thinking uh, we definitely want uh, Sludge, Black Sludge. Uh, we definitely want Recover, but uh, let's go Dynamax Cannon. Dynamax Cannon, Recover, Cosmic Power. Toxic? That'll probably do it. Maybe I don't run Dynamax Cannon. Maybe I actually run uh, Flamethrower Frisation. I think Flamethrower Frisation is actually probably better. Does it get a better fire move? Mystical Fire, we'll do that. Dude, Prankster Chansey is disgusting. Is it bussin' or disgusting? Takes a big bite out of the egg from Chansey. Disgusting. How's the uh, the music volume, by the way? All right, let's get in the damage calc. Keep in mind, we don't have an intimidator on this team, so thinking bold is probably our best option here. Is it possible to get that to be like a disgustingly low amount? What if I were to go like just straight up 252, 252, aka the irresponsible set? Oh, wait, not that. The irresponsible set makes this just bounce off. 
it does kind of make it bounce off. But I definitely need speed. Uh, I'm thinking a good speed tier to hit would be... Uh, I definitely want to be faster than like 111s. So what is that? Like that's 180 speed. Do I need to run timid? That's kind of a bummer if I have to run timid. Let me see. So if I were to do this, eh, maybe it's better just to max out the fence. I don't want this to do more than that i want a chance for it i i want it to just be a chance to it ko like that's the scary thing uh i mean i also have fake out for the free plus one let me think i'm just gonna see how much defense i get off of this so if i were to run this i get 118 defense max hp but if i go oh wait no hold on bold this one gives me 129 defense max hp um, where the opposing version, if I were to run like Timid. That gives me more. Okay, so we are going to run Timid. Timid will give me a lot more. What was that? That was 108. 108. Which Pokemon team you are using your match today? Uh, we're building it right now. We're trying to build Stall. All right, so 108. Uh, I can probably actually optimize this to like minimize the damage. So Behemoth Blade right now is doing, I mean, we don't get one shot and that's kind of all that matters. I, I mean, I, I technically a more efficient way of doing this would be to max out my defense and then do like this. Wow, we actually have a lot left over if we do that. What if I just like became a nuisance? What if I just became a nuisance like this? Do I really need the special defense? I don't know if I need the special defense. I have to run some calcs. Taking a break from ladder uh, the day you record this. <laughs> I mean, tonight's the night we record this. We are, we are streaming this right now, so we're probably going to get some games tonight as well. All right. Um... I honestly never know how to build an Eternus if it's not offensive. That's the rough part. Uh, my Flamethrower is doing 50% to Zacian, so I really don't need any investment there. How much am I taking at 148? Basically, what I want to do is get to a point where I can like outpace Zacian at plus one. I think that's a good benchmark. Yeah, I do outpace Zacian at plus one with this, so... Let's do this. Wait, is it literally just optimal to just max out the special defense like that? Is that like actually gonna be the best way we go about doing this? I don't think so. I think, let me, I, this is the rough part because I don't have screens or anything. Let's just go with like the basic. Let's go with the basic, let's just do that. Bam. Little bit of everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, recover, cosmic power, toxic, that'll, that'll do fine, that'll do fine. Uh, also, I can guard split my Eternus, which is, that would just be the worst. Okay. As for you, I mean, we could just do 252, 252, but I might as well get some bulk on it. Yeah, this is going to be the return of Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare. Uh, so Necrozma, Duskmane, Blink Set, 252. Basically, I just want to make sure that at plus one, my max quake KOs. Oh, hold on. Brave. I could also run Heal Pulse Chansey, but I'm not going to do that. Sacred Sword's doing like nothing to me, too. Uh, Earthquake. Earthquake and Sun Steel Strike are going to be my two moves. I mean, my Max Quake's already KOing like that. What if I'm at neutral? Can I get that to KO? If I'm 252, does that KO somehow? 
I mean, yeah, I guess I might as well just do the standard, but it would be nice to take a Kyogre attack. So I think what we're going to end up doing is just Calcane for Kyogre or Lucky Veltal. Um, and going from there. Let's do Modest Mystic Water because that's about as strong. Or we can even go Life Orb. Is this a thing that we can actually calc to live? No, there's nothing on Earth that takes that. All right, let's do let's do just modest Mystic Water Water Spout. Do 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 do. Wave Incense is the same. Water Spout, yeah, we can calc to live that. There we go. One forty eight, and then we'll just dump the rest. So we have two fifty two. 148. Dump the rest in attack. And we're probably fine just doing that. Okay. So. So. Is it even worth running like... Do I do I even want to run like Jolly? I mean, I think I'll just run Adamant. I'm hitting 92 speed. Like, I'm almost never going to outspeed something. But I, I really don't see a point in making this like a Trick Room Shedinja. Okay. Okay, let's hit the ladder with Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare. Two. Uh, something else I can do is if we don't want to run Skill Swap, we can run Heal Pulse. Which wouldn't be that bad. Heal Pulse for Necrozma and Dustman could be really annoying. But I think Skill Swap is so much funnier. Let's hit the ladder. What am I at on this account? This is this is Sabato Gigantamax, aka the, the sad account where I test like bad teams. Alright, 1343. Uh, they have a game. poison type, but they have no ghost type, which is really all I want to see here. Uh, is this thing going to be annoying? Possibly. Shuckle's slower than it, though. Necrozma also goes crazy. I think I have to go Chansey Shuckle for a chance to win. And, like, that's my only shot. Let's go ahead and lead off with, like, just our two Restricteds and go Chansey Shuckle in the back. Yeah, okay. Yo, to be honest, I don't know if they can break Eternatus if I do this. If I just, like, burn my Dynamax early, I don't know how they can break Eternatus. You Babiri, you're not Babiri. A Jaro Ball me? Pathetic. Pat shallow and pedantic. Groudon, shallow and pedantic. Let me Cosmic Power again. Go for a Steel Spike on you. How slow? Is this Iron Ball Groudon? It's gotta be. There's no way they're slow unless they, they are... Iron Ball ground on. I mean, I'll take it. I'm at, I'm at plus three defense. Let me just recover here. And uh, I'll steal Spike your ground on now. Max Knuckles. That's fine. I'm going to do a lot of damage here. Get my recover off. Nice. Uh, let's go for the Toxic on the Dawn. And another strike. Don't flinch. Not enough to KO. Don't flinch. Nice. And the Toxic will pick it up if I connect. Awesome. And yeah, I'm in a pretty good spot. <laughs> Dude, do you want to see me doing something vile? I will do something absolutely vile here. Let me get my last Cosmic Power off. I'm going to get in the Shuckle. I'm about to do something vile. Okay. I can definitely take a hit from this dude. Let me go for a recover. I'm going to guard split. Guard split affects your base stats. <laughs> dude. Dude. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry about that. Hold on. Well, I'm real sorry about that. Let me go for protect here. I need a protect here um, because if he ends up critting my Eternatus, then I'm in trouble. But I don't know if a crit would KO. Like we we have our like actual defenses, like our base stats, like just boosted all to hell. There we go. Okay, nice. What is on my screen? Hell. Hell is on your screen. Yeah, no, that is a, that's a disgusting stat to look at right there. You need to find God after this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. All right. Um, did we face this guy? I don't think we did. Chansey Shuckle seems really good. They got no ghost types or anything, so I don't see why not. Uh, let's go ahead and go lie apart. Oh. That's the magic of stall. You can just lead off and they'll lose. You don't even have to lead. I won turn negative one because turn zero is lead. Turn negative one is team preview. That's where you win. No one can match this amount of power. I love you, Chansey. Uh, once again, no ghost type. No ghost type. Yeah, I'm hoping it's no max, um, no restricted. It could be no max GS Cup 2, but I would prefer no restricted, to be honest. I'm just hoping Dynamax gets banned for the final season. All right, um, I'm gonna go for the raw trick room. Mainly cause Reggie like he shouldn't be able to one shot me. And I can swords dance. Cause they, if they, if they know their stuff, which I mean, they're running the most hyper offensive hyper offense team I've ever seen. So I would imagine they know their stuff since they're playing Dynamax. Um, they should probably just either spam fake out and then go for parting shot next turn. But this will allow me to go for a sword stance. I don't think they're going to Dynamax a Lucky. It just doesn't seem right. All right. Looks like Incineroar didn't fake out. Uh, this does give me the opportunity to sword stance, but it is quite risky. Let's sword stance. I'd imagine you switch out here anyways. And I ooh, do I want to get Shuckle in here? I think I just want to snarl actually, because I don't think they're gonna go for Flare Blitz. I think they want a Parting Shot, my Necrozma, and go for like a Max Quake. All right, or Flare Blitz. That's fine too. Burning Jealousy. That's not very cash money. That, I must admit, is not very cash money. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. I'm going into Chansey. Burning Jealousy and Sinora has been picking up ever since Milwaukee. Alright, Regieleki. They're probably gonna Dynamax the Regieleki. So, do you guys wanna see something really cool? Do you guys wanna see something really, really cool? Something really, really, really cool? I'm gonna skill swap the Regieleki and take away their damage. For sure, that looks like a really cool team, Pink Pika Bean. That was actually a really cool one. I'm taking away your transistor. This is like the ability that makes Reggie like you good, by the way. Your transistor rights have been have been removed. Apologize. 
All right, uh, let's go for minimize. Uh, I'm gonna start getting. Do I need physical boost? I think I need special boosts. They have more. They have more special attackers than physical attackers. And I can definitely quake here. All right. Nice little boost there. Got to use these turns effectively. Mm. I no longer have a need for this transistor. Let's skill swap the Dialga, and I'm going to go for a Quake on the Incinera. Because I think pressure would be very, very much more annoying. It helps us out for the for the end game in case we do have to PP stall. Yeah, this is Chansey Shuckle Guard split shenanigans. How's the music audio? I want I want to make sure it's loud enough for you guys to like hear it when the video comes out. Roar of time. That's not KOing me. However, this will. No, it doesn't. Let's go. Hello, sir. I'll be taking away your pressure. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. Goodbye. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, thunder. That'd be annoying. Alright, minimize. Let's go for the Toxic on Incineroar, because he seems the most annoying. Not that we'll get it off. Music's fine. Sweet. Snarls. He misses. Oh, let's go! <laughs> okay, that's going to allow me to go for my final one. Minimize. Uh, I'll protect here because there's not really a reason not to. And they now have to deal with pressure stall. And as long as I don't target the Dialga until like the final turns of the game, I should win the pressure stall fight. It actually connects the parting shot. Alright. Uh, we go for the seismic toss onto you. I can infestation you. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I don't know how they get out of this one. I don't know how they get out of this one. Oh, wait. that That is a way they can get out of this one. This is a way I didn't... I forgot you were here. I won't lie. I forgore you existed. How much do we take? Oh. Oh. Buckle up, guys. We're clicking soft-boiled. Alright, that one did 40%. Roar of Time misses. I think we might be able to take one more, because we only really have to take one more. Come on. Don't say skip to end. Don't show me the you lost button. Don't show me the you lost button. As soon as it says skip to end, I know I've lost. Don't show me that. Don't do that to me. Come on. Don't do it to me. My heart is pounding. <gasps> Let's go. 28%. Pathetic. You put heavy slam on Celestial. Oh, dude, and he landed both too. That's terrifying. Anyways, I just need you to miss a couple of these high jump kicks, bud. Your chances of landing a high jump kick are like nothing. Pyroball, okay. As long as these next two attacks miss, I can actually start focusing down Cinderace. So we'll Seismic Toss here. Dude, I was terrified. Oh my god, he connected. Pyroball, too. Alright, um... How much should I do with my Seismic Toss? 32%. I'm just going to Seismic Toss twice. 
nothing in the back can like one shot me. It's just the Cinderace. So if I don't just KO here, I'm I'm like in trouble. See, he's scared to click high jump kick because if he misses, he just dies. But I think he's forced to here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You got five seconds left. Let's go. Inactivity. Okay, sweet. GG. Would this Chansey set be walled by ghost types? Yes, that's why we have Toxic and stuff. Also, skill swapping pressure is very funny. I'm gonna put that out there. If you skill swap pressure, hilarious. Um, They have a couple of options for stopping my TR. I actually kind of want to lead off Eternos for that reason. Go Eternus NDM. Fancy Shuckle. Yeah, in situations where it's like a ghost type 1v1, I'm pretty much forced to skill swap away my funny, my funny uh move. Um I mean I might be able to get my trick room off here. Go for the toxic onto you. Let's see if we can get trick room off. Uh, that's actually probably better just to Cosmic Power and try to Trick Room. It's a middle ground play. Very, very middle ground. Alright, prevents the Trick Room. We're going to get Cosmic Power off, though. The Airstreams does a decent amount, but now we definitely get Trick Room off, if not just, like, another Cosmic Power. Unless he has Taunt. Taunt could ruin this. Alright, cool. Don't have Taunt. Augers. All right, uh, I'm going to go Shuckle here. Let's guard split our Chansey. Can you skill swap Wonder Guard? No, you cannot. You can only, like, entrainment Wonder Guard, if I remember. Oh, he tried it. All right. Um... I need to keep this Shuckle intact. So I'm actually going to protect here. We're going to go for Minimize. Because I absolutely have to Toxic that Calyrex. Go Necrozma. Minimize. Oh, we're going to do the funny. You guys ready for this? This is the funny. Max Steel Spike. Skill Swap. We're about to do the funny on him. Oh, you can't Skill Swap. Ah, I keep forgetting you can't Skill Swap these guys. We're going to take a lot here. All right, cool. We KO'd. I was going to say... <laughs> I forgot you can't skill swap uh, Dynamax Pokemon. That I think that's really annoying. You should be able to skill swap Dynamax Pokemon. That was a really dumb restriction. Alright, Cali Shadow. Um, I max guard here, and I soft boiled. Oh, he's dude, he's gonna end up KOing his own Cali. That's huge. Let's go. Okay, nice. I'm not saying good game because, to be honest, I'm not playing good games today. I'm playing awful. I'm playing, like, obnoxious. Uh, Eternatus actually goes crazy here if they let me get it. Yep. Uh, let's go with the Eternatus lead with... I actually quite like Eternatus Lifehard. And Shedinja. Necrozma. Yeah, you have to mimic and train or something. It's a very strange process to get Wonder Guard on something. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much just a free first Cosmic Power. 
They let off two passive. If you if you lead off two passive versus Eternatus, you end up just losing unless you crit. Cool. Uh, let's go for another Cosmic Power. Uh, I can also copycat Poltergeist, but Snarl's just better. He's not Taunt and Sin, which is actually very good. I'm already in a position where he's going to have a lot of trouble. And, you ready for this? I'm going to do something nasty. If this if this Zacian comes in, I'm about to do the nastiest thing ever. Oh, it's Kartana. Uh, that's not bad either. Let's cosmic power again, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with that nasty, that nasty copycat. Cause the last move that got used was parting shot, so let's copycat that. Thank you. And we're gonna go into our own Shedinja. Cause that should be safe. It was not safe. We have, however, significantly slowed down the, the pace of this match. And let's go for another Snarl. Why no Endure on Shed? I personally just like having uh, either Poltergeist or Shadow Sneak. Um, let's double up. Let's just get rid of the Kartana. I'm already in a position where they have a lot of issue beating me. What was the last move that got used? If in, in case it's Sash, this is better if I just copycat. Endure? Okay, that's not bad either. That's a two-shot. You max knuckle me. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Dude, watch me copycat this this mystical fire, dude. It's not gonna happen. Uh, but they likely don't have max guard. I'm already in a very, very difficult position for them to beat. I should probably snarl. Nah, I don't need to. Mystical fire. Yeah, it's just snarl. No. Copy gets better. Because I end up going first then. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> you basically just did nothing there. Cool. Alright, um, I still just spam Mystical Fire, like, I don't know why they did that. Sunsteel Strike ignores abilities, so this is, like, my best play. We also still haven't Dynamaxed. They Endure, that's fine. They basically just hand over a Kartana here. Alright, and there's the Shed. Um, I just spam Mystical Fire, don't I? And Sunsteel Strike, like there's no reason not to. Player F won't KO me. Or come close, even. Alright, looks like I'm getting rid of Shed this turn, which is very nice. Older guys won't KO me, it's just gonna give- Oh my god, I forgot you had a plus two attack. Alright, that was terrifying. Um, luckily I do have pressure here. I want to get rid of Shed though, but I should recover. I should recover until he runs out of Behemoth Blades. I forgot he was at plus two, that was terrifying. Oh, he's actually doing quite a bit of damage, but... Pressure a little bit too broken. He's already halfway out. He's already halfway out of Behemoth Blades. Connects the play rough, that's fine. How many Poltergeist does he have? I should just get rid of Shed now. Let me think. So, Poltergeist does 24, play rough does 20. Ooh, do I just keep recovering? I think I just keep recovering. Yeah, because Incinerator comes in, that's fine. He he gets a little bit too passive there, so I can Cosmic Power again. 
and he has to crit to beat me. And even then, it's like too much. Yeah, so the fact that he switched into Incineroar is actually really big, because now I get more cosmic powers. And he only has so many turns to crit. Shadow Sheik does nothing, we cosmic power. Yeah, the item's uh, Black Sludge. Dude, that does like nothing. Uh, let me toxic you. Actually, I'll toxic your buddy. Chance he's too scary. Alright, now I can recover. He has to crit. However, that Darkest Lair is still doing a lot. Alright, um... It's Toxic the Incineroar, because I shouldn't go down. 38%? Oh, that's gonna be rough. If either of these crit, we're in a rough spot. Okay. Recover, he has to crit here. I dare say this team is toxic, yes. Alright, looks like I'm outpacing him as well. Ooh, I just have to avoid getting crit until Incineroar goes down, and then I'm able to spam Mystical Fire to win. Actually, I'll recover one more, and then I'll Mystical Fire the next turn. Mystical Fire here. No, I definitely just go for the 1v1. That'd be throwing. Maybe your turn, Britney Spears? Hell yeah. There we go. We're in the 1v1 situation. I Mystical Fire twice. <gasps> oh! How much did the last one do? Oh my god, that scared me. Alright, we should be fine. Player up to 17%. Oh! Dude! <laughs> GG. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. Okay, we're fine though. Because we won, and we're, we're mean, because we're using stall. What Mon that can fill the same role as a Guzzlord? Guzzlord, like, I don't know if you can have any Mon that fills the same role as Guzzlord, because Guzzlord doesn't, like, fill roles, it just exists. In my opinion, Guzzlord simply exists. Um... Yeah, I quite like Chansey Shuckle here. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you can, like, fit the same role as a Guzzlord if you show up to a VG uh, VGC tournament, send out the Guzzlord, and scream at the top of your lungs. That's more or less what Guzzlord's known for. Alright, Max Guard, Copycat. They don't have a way of stopping this. Unless they have, like, Imprison. Alright, we're good. Um, I can go for the Max Quake here. And a Snarl. Actually, the last move to get used is Astral Barrage. I think I just copycat for a chance to break that. Let's see if I break it. Nah, not quite. Alright, that's fine. Alright, um... Hmm... I can go Shuckle here, but I'm going to get faked out. I think I just Quake and Protect. And then this turn I go into Chansey. I go into Gastrodon. Nice, okay. Let's go for the minimize. Um and 
Let's go ahead and Toxic you. He doesn't fake out, which is nice. Now here's where we go for the Nene. That did a lot. Oh my god. Do you not have Sacred Sword? Because if you don't have Sacred Sword, I probably just win. Alright. Um, I now take reduced damage from like everything. I'll try to Trick Room. Maybe I just go for damage. Eh, no. Or he does have Sacred Sword, but we're taking a, like a lot of reduced damage from that. And we can still beat Calyrex Shadow with PP Stall. All right. If I can dodge a, an attack here, that'd be great. I'm taking significantly reduced damage, though. I mean, I'm kind of cool with that. He's going with a passive option now. He can fake out me, but still, he's going to be in a passive position. He misses that. Cool. I do get the evasion, too. Alright, and now I just spam Seismic Toss into the Gastrodon slot, because one would assume that's going to switch out. So I get a turn to wake up. Very likely to avoid moves. And Calyrex aren't known for running moves with a lot of options for, you know, stalling. Cool. That goes down. Let's see how much I take from a Sacred Sword. I don't think it two shots. I don't even think it three shots at this point. There's Kali's Shadow. Okay, guess we'll Seismic Toss you. Eh, I should probably recover. No, nope. we'll minimize. And the best part is, I mean, like, they just don't have options for hitting me. Max Darkness. I mean, yeah, sure. Go ahead. That's like the only move you're going to be able to hit me with. So I soft boiled here. Because I have to spam Max Darkness. And they're also helping me PP stall, funny enough. Ooh, I need, a, I need to get this soft boiled off or I'm in trouble. But I think I'm guaranteed to wake up now. They have to crit here. Or like connect both their hits. Pretty unlikely they connect the Flare Blitz. Looks like I'm good. Ooh, jeez. Okay, let's soft boiled again. Their snarls do like almost nothing. And also they're pretty like they're pretty unlikely to connect. Yeah. Sick. Let's go for the seismic toss on you. I'm taking res I'm taking reduced damage from Sacred Sword. That's like the fun part about this team, is that you can skill swap away the um you can skill swap away the uh the shadow shield or the prism armor. Throat chop? Nah, sorry, bud. I should actually probably minimize one more time. I just realized I'm not at max. Cool. Seismic toss. Seismic toss. And all those turns I had to burn, like, you know, sleeping, it was actually really cool. Swap the, uh, skill swap, or skill swap for Intimidate for the max disrespect. I shouldn't, because I need to hold on to this ability for the Zacian. Because look how much I'm going to take from Sacred Sword. 
Look how much this is going to do. They have to Sacred Sword here, by the way. Oh, they substitute. Okay, interesting. Well, now you have to Sacred Sword. I don't know why you'd sub there. I don't know why you'd protect there. You miss. Sacred Sword. Look at that. We take 18% because of the Prism Armor. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's minimize... Because basically, we just have to PP stall. So let's see. So 15, 16, 13, 7. So that's 20, 36. Uh, that is 51. And we have 12. So that's 17 plus 24. That's 31. Uh, I mean, I think we can barely win if we get our if we get our things in order. You know? So I spam my Seismic Tosses. I think we just barely win. Because they're going to take a lot from... What is it? They're going to take a lot from uh, Recoil if they struggle me. Can Struggle miss? I forgot. I don't think Struggle can miss. Also, we can just win off a timer. Ooh, they get the burn. That's actually really bad. I wish I actually was able to skill stuff away like pressure or something. Oh wait, did I did I count their snarls and their max darknesses? Am I stupid? Hold on. So they actually have 6 plus 13, 19 plus 15. I forgot. Hold on. Anyways, I'm going to win by I'm going to win by by this. Yeah, I think I counted their their snarls and their max darknesses, which isn't how it works. Yeah, 19 plus 15. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Anyways, they're going to lose by time because I have so much more time than them. That's why Chansey should have Scrappy. Dude, I can try to skill swap away Scrappy. I can try that as a set. Alright. You got five seconds. Five, four, I win. 